Well, hello everybody and welcome to my channel. This is your girl, Color Me Bad Land. Back with an amazing share of two uh, body mists. These aren't new discoveries for me, um, but they kind of sort of are because I really haven't worn these body mists yet. And so I wanted to come on and share them. I've seen on several um, content creator channels, well, maybe one, uh, where these body scents were mentioned years ago. And I wanted to come on and share my spin on the two that I enjoy from this particular uh, company. But before we get into that, I do want to provide to you a formal greeting. I am Color Me Bad Lynn. I'm a beauty professional, licensed cosmetologist by trade. Um, on my channel, mainly we talk about all things beauty. So anything pertaining to beauty, we're probably going to tap into it from the inside out. Mainly what we talk about are the fragrances that are in my collection. Um, we also talk about, <laughs> uh, we will talk about skincare, makeup, we'll talk about hair, uh, we'll talk about love, relationships, romance, a little bit about dating, uh, family issues, and faith, and anything else that you want to talk about. So make sure that you comment below or send me an email. Uh, both of my email addresses are inside of my YouTube channel. Feel free, ask away, and I will come on my channel and answer your questions um, as you uh, request. You can also reach out to me now on Instagram. Come on over to Instagram. Uh, we talk about fragrances over there. And so if you're interested in those types of things, make sure you come on over and follow me and I will follow you back my uh, handle tag for instagram is color me bad underscore lynn we look forward to meeting you over on instagram so if you're into fragrances and things of that nature come on over all right but that's all we talking about and maybe a little and maybe a little love little romance but other than that that's it so i look forward to meeting you guys over on instagram so let's get into it uh, really brief, really quick. I have two body mists that I want to come on and share for you guys. Uh, and so I'm really excited about these. I haven't really worn these, uh, but I've had them for a while. And I wanted to come on and talk about them. Um, you can, before I introduce these fragrances, you can find these body mists anywhere. You can order them on Amazon. Um, you can find them in Walmart. Uh, you can find them in Walgreens, CVS, uh, Target, uh, and uh, places like that. So anywhere that they have an aisle, beauty aisle, where they sell uh, fragrances like your Calgon Body Mist, um, your Shea Butter products, um, you will probably find these products. Now, I will share with you because you all know that our shelves are you know kind of bare nowadays sometimes you may go and look for certain products and you may not find them um and so i need everybody to stop buying up all the pacifica body sprays because there are none on the shelves <laughs> so let's get into it um we've got two um i tried these because down through the years i've always liked the calgon body mist okay and um, when I added these to my collection, which really these aren't a part of my collection, it's just a part of self-care and body care. Um, I heard somebody say they smell good. And so I grabbed them up. I really don't wear them that much. I'm a Bath and Body Works girl and I'm a body shop girl. I love those body mists. Occasionally, um, if there is a body mist or a hair mist spray that comes along with a fragrance that I add to my collection, I may give it a try. Especially if I find them in a discounter store like TJ Maxx, Marshalls, Ross for Less, or um, what other stores are there? You know what I'm talking about. Those types of stores, um, if you see something on a clearance, then I may grab it to try to see what it smells like. Because normally when they knock stuff down on clearance in those types of stores, they're like 2 $3, um, you know, things of that nature. So you really can't lose with trying out on those types of body mists. So that's the only time I really add... Uh, alternative body mist to my collection because um, I have to have a certain amount of moisture when I'm applying fragrances and you know fragrances and body mist have high levels of alcohol content so if you're moisturizing your skin and you're using a heavily uh, alcohol contented product you're kind of defeating the purpose of your whole um, 
moisture care uh, routine with your skin, right? Um, and so I don't use a whole lot of body mist. Um, when I use them, I try to make sure I use ones from companies that I know use all natural ingredients with, you know, your aloes and things of that nature. But I stepped out on a limb and um, I grabbed these um, a while back. They've been in, they've been around in my collection for a long time. I just haven't really gotten to wearing them. But I noticed that a lot of people are talking about a lot of body mists that are um, body mists that you can purchase in your um, drugstores, your Walgreens, your CVSs, like I said, Target, um, you know, Walmart. You can purchase these on Amazon. So let's get into it. The first one that I wanted to come on and share and see if you guys know anything about this one. These are from Body Fantasies. This is an eight fluid ounce, 236 milliliter bottle. And this is Coconut Fantasy. Okay. Are you guys familiar with this one? Yep. Yeah, so I'm going to spray a spray card real quick. Let's see if we got the disco bomb on. Okay. Did it get a little dark? <laughs> okay, so we're going to spray this. All right. And find out what we got going on here. This one kind of shocked me a little bit. Um, it starts off really, really sweet. Um, and so I was like, oh, oh no. It smells more like sugar than anything. Um, and then it kind of calms down a little bit and it turns into um, a, a, a slightly creamy. It's not as creamy as I thought this is going to be. You know, when you think about coconut, you think about coconut milk, you think about creamy, like tonic, smooth, and it has a little bit of that in it. Um, it also, and you know, these don't, these don't provide you with notes, so you don't know everything that's inside of it. But this has lavender in it. I can tell. It's really calming. It's really a relaxing scent. Um, it's got a little bit of citrus in it. Maybe a little bit. No lime though. No lemon. But it's got a little bit of a citrus in it. So you could definitely wear this with a fragrance that has coconut in it. Um, a, co a fragrance that has a little bit probably a coconut and like a mandarin orange fragrance or tangerine juicy pomelo anything that's sweet juicy creamy with a little bit of a coconut note in it you could definitely rock this with this um just a little tidbit on how i wear these i normally spray these on after a bath or a shower before i apply any moisturization and that's normally because um, I'm, I'm moisturizing to moisturize and seal moisture in um, and keep the dryness out. And so these are alcohol based, heavy on the alcohol. And so with that, a lot of times you're kind of defeating the purpose, right? And so I use these first and then I layer normally in hotter weather, of course, um, especially if you're going to be outdoors and you may pop a sweat or two. Um, these are, this is when I like to use, uh, body mists like this. So we're going to find out how well these work. I really haven't worn them to find out what, um, the longevity is on them. A lot of times if I grab things like this and I end up using them and I don't care for them, I use them for bed spray. So I'll spray down my comforters, my decorative pillows and things of that nature. So it'll serve a purpose, but a lot of times I try to give this a chance first and see what it's going to do on the body and these are also great refreshers for your fragrances to help the longevity of your fragrance all right so we're going to find out how well this works and then we'll come back on later on and share some uh layering combinations that we found that work beautifully with this scent so again this is body fantasies coconut fantasy all right got a little lavender in it so i don't know we're gonna have to you're gonna have to use it and find out i can do lavender um, not by itself. However, I do have a uh, fragrance, a spa-like fragrance in my collection that is a lav heavy on the lavender fragrance. And at first, I didn't care for it, but after I wore it, it it just it it married with my body chemistry, and I really really fell in love with that particular fragrance. And we're gonna come on and share that 
um, that fragrance um, uh, later on down the line because it is gorgeous. Okay. All right. So moving on to the next one, we just do two because there were the only two scents when I got these that I really liked. Um, I think if you shop in like Walmart, they sometimes have testers of these. I don't know now how things are going with that because a lot of stores like that that normally carry fragrances, their supplies are really, really limited. Like you can barely find fragrances in your discounter stores. Um, you know, if you go into like a Walgreens or a Walmart, you know, Walmart has a fragrance department um, and they do have some nice uh, designer fragrances uh, there if you've never checked. Um, the shelves are kind of bare. And so you may not find testers of these. When I got these, they had testers out of these where you can kind of spray them and see which one you liked. And these were the two that stood out to me that I really liked. This one is Body Fantasies, of course, same company. And this one is Cotton Candy. I'll bring it in a little bit closer so you guys can see it. Cotton Candy Sweet is Go. All right, you guys remember that song? I'm going to spray this really quick. And I'm going to tell you what I think about this. And I got this because I have so many fragrances that have that cotton candy note, like pink sugar, um, like um, not so much cotton candy, but you know, your Ariana Grande cloud goes really well with a cotton candy scent. Um, there's a couple of other ones. When I tell you this is straight cotton candy, when I straight cotton candy. It is super, super sugary. But it's something about this that I like. It's really, really synthetic -y. Um, uh, it When it dries down, it has a little bit of creaminess to it. But this smells just like cotton candy. And, but it's a synthetic note. It's really synthetic. Of course, it's synthetic. Uh, and you can tell. So I wouldn't wear this just by itself. Because, you know, sometimes we just wear our body sprays and mist by themselves i wouldn't wear this by itself but definitely i would use this for a layering combination i lost my card <laughs> it's something about this that i like um i'm willing to bet and i don't bet but this would smell really good with fragrances with like a strawberry note a really sweet gourmand cherry fragrance Anything that has uh, spun sugar in it, anything that has brown sugar in it, even a fragrance that has like a burnt sugary note. You know, there are some fragrances out there that have got a burnt sugar note. Uh, also, I think that this would smell really good with a fragrance with a buttery popcorn note. Um, you know, there are a couple fragrances I have in my collection that have popcorn notes in them. This, I think, would smell really good with that. You know, you got a gourmand fragrance on, um, and then you add a little bit of extra sweetness to it, um, and you want to smell just like the, the county fair. I think this would go really good with that, and that's why I grabbed this. It's not my favorite cotton candy scent in my collection, but it works, and I really, really enjoy this. I haven't worn this together with anything just yet, and once I do, I'll come back on and share what I think about it. Um, but if it doesn't work for whatever reason, this would also be a fragrance um, that I would use to mist um, my bedding. Because that's what you use these for mostly. And that's what I do. I don't use uh, sheet sprays or linen sprays. I like to use things like this. Uh, because they give you the remnants of scents that you really, really adore and love. So again, this one is Cotton Candy by Body Fantasies. Those are the two. These are the two scents that I want to come on and share from Body Fantasies. The first one I shared with you guys was Coconut Fantasy. I have to wear this to find out if I really like it. The first spray out is okay. But once it dries down, it has a heavy lavender note in it. Uh, and so it's really, really, really potent. So I will have to wear this with something first to be able to tell you whether or not I'm in love with this. But it's decent. And we'll see about it. All right. And then cotton candy. Really synthetic -y, sweet, sugary fragrance uh, mist. However, I think that once coupled this, coupling this with something with the burnt sugar notes, something that has that candy, that candy, cotton candy note in it. Um, like a candy apple scent, really juicy, really pretty, really sweet. 
um, adding this or using this as your one of your layering components uh, will be really, really pretty. And I'm going to try that. Um, I may even try a little bit today. Who knows? But this one I really, really like. I don't know if I like the packaging because it's pink. Pink is not my favorite color, but it's really, really appealing. It's got the little candy, cotton, the cotton candy on the front of the bottle. I just think it's really gorgeous. And so hopefully this will work well with um, whatever I choose to couple this with. And we'll come back on and share our thoughts on what we think about body fantasies cotton candy but so far i like it i like the name i like the packaging and the scent is meh so we'll find out what we think about it if you have this in your collection don't be shy let me know down in the comments and tell me what you layer your cotton candy with i would love to hear from you well that's all i wanted to come on and share with you guys today thank you for your time i greatly appreciate your love and your support i want to shout out to all of my new subscribers i see you thank you and welcome to color me bad nation and to all of those that have been hanging out with me from the very beginning thank you I appreciate you. Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit that notification bell. So each and every time I upload a video onto YouTube, you will be notified. And if you can't watch it right away, guess what? You can save it for later. And last but not least, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Get in while you can. Peace.